A5, Genesis 12 to 14. God's promise and Abraham's obedience. God's promise about descendants and lands coupled with Abraham's obedience became an important foundation to God's orchestration of history. First point, the Bible is the story of Jesus, the son of David, the son of Abraham. The Bible, which comprises God's history, contains approximately 2,000 years, 1,500 geographical locations, and 5,000 people. Abraham is one of the representative persons out of the 5,000 people who obeyed God in the Bible. And Abraham was labeled the ancestor of faith. So when we think of obedience and faith, we must first remember Abraham. Second point, Abraham became the icon of obedience in God's history. Abraham, who had faith in God, obeyed his command to leave his homeland for the promised land. Due to his first act of obedience, the first knot towards a deeper relationship with God was tightened. Genesis 12 verse 4 says that Abraham went as the Lord had told him. In the verb went, we can imagine Abraham's labor in obeying God and stepping towards the land that God had promised to show him. We should not dismiss the verbs in the Bible that comprise the sweat of people. The sweat of those who believe are the driving factors behind a new era. Third point, Abraham's first ever night battle becomes Gideon's reference. The Bible records war history in as early as Genesis 14. The five state cities, Sodom, Gomorrah, Adma, Zivoim, and Bela had been subjects of the four Assyrian city-states. Shina, Elasa, Elam, and Goim for 12 long years. But on the 13th year of paying tribute, the five city states ceased to send further tributes to the Assyrian king. This incident immediately led to war. After hearing that his nephew Lot, living in Sodom and Gomorrah, was taken as a war captive, Abraham took 318 well-trained servants with him and overturned the tables of warfare. There and then during a night battle. Later, Gideon, during the year of Judges, wins a night battle against the Midian following Abraham's example. Fourth point, Abraham wholly agrees with Melchizedek's interpretation of warfare. Abraham, who had won a great battle, met Melchizedek, the king of Salem, and God's priest who came with bread and wine and received blessings, and gave one-tenth of his gains to him. And this battle of Abraham's later became a legacy to David, who testified that battles belong to the Lord. Fifth point, Abraham shows us how best to utilize material goods in three ways. First, Abraham yielded to Lot in their relationship by saying, If you go to the left, I will go to the right. If you go to the right, I will go to the left. Second, in his relationship with God, Abraham offered his first tithing from the fruits of his labor. The tithe was an expression of gratitude to God and at the same time, an acknowledgement of Melchizedek as a God's priest. And third, in his relationship with his neighbors, Abraham said to the king of Sodom, I will accept nothing belonging to you, not even a threat or the strap of a sender. This shows to what extent Abraham was innocent in his dealings with his neighbors. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered 
pieces of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tongdok app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading. This is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day, takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tongue Dog app.